Welcome back, Better Make You a Better Public Speaker. Today is lesson 115, and we are talking about simplosity. Very easy, something we've probably already done. But essentially, it's repetition. Or repetition where the first couple words or phrases within a clause or at the end of the clause, back using it back to back. Not the whole thing, but just a few of the words. And I'll give you an example, as well as three reasons why you should incorporate simplosity within your speech. Number one is emphasis. So again, simplosity can be used to emphasize your central or main idea within your speech, making it more prominent, more memorable, and also allows the audience to focus on your key message. So here's an example sentence. We must have faith in ourselves, for without self-belief, we can achieve nothing and achieve nothing we shall. So achieve nothing and achieve nothing in back-to-back -back sentences. That is an example of simplosity. All right, number two, rhythm and flow. All right, we all like a little bit of rhythm and flow within our speech. Again, it goes back and makes it really memorable. And having some good balance and some symmetry within your speech, and it makes it more enjoyable to listen to overall. So here's an example. In times of challenge, we find our strength. In times of adversity, we discover our resilience. So the phrase in times of, right, in times of challenge, in times of adversity. So that is an example of simplosity using the phrase in times of. Number three is reinforcement. So again, a lot of times we need to reinforce our main idea with a little bit more evidence, and it kind of helps link the beginning and middle and end within our main topic. And simplosity can be done using an example sentence like this. Education is the foundation of progress, and progress is the key to better future, and a better future starts with education. So that is a pretty incorporated one because at the very beginning, education is at the very end, right? And then we have the word progress and progress and better future and better future. So there's actually like three examples of simplosity within these three clauses in this sentence. So we can get, if you know how to use the tools and you're using them for a reason, right? Now you're able to kind of really show uh, your like your creativity, right? And again, the audience is not going to really understand or pick these things out. I mean, 99%. But the fact is you are the speaker, you are the writer. So incorporating these little tools such as Simplosi is going to make you overall a better speaker because you're using the tools for a purpose. So go out there, try to incorporate a little Simplosi within your speech. Your speech will be awesome and you'll become a better public speaker. See you next time.